So. Oh, and Here's by the way, Chess, something good to look at. Yeah, go ahead. By the way, Jeff, Chess, um, Arch Manning. Arch Manning is not down to two schools. He has five schools. Oh, five schools? Okay, that was fake news. Alabama, right. Florida, Georgia, L- actually six. Alabama, Florida, Georgia, LSU, Ole Miss, and Texas. Uh, okay, Jeff I'm said that he would. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. Sorry, Jacob, I'm going to interrupt you, but it's going to come down to either Georgia, Ole Miss, Texas, or Bama. That's it. That's my pick. He, he needs yeah, to go to LSU. Well. RG May needs to go to LSU. I think he'll get it. I think he'll get it. his wife. Well, Jeff says he doesn't want any of the Mannings uh, or their circus, in his words. Hoss yeah. says Twinkie Twins. We're here, baby. What's up, Hoss? What's up? I, yeah, I that's no, right. I got no Twinkie Twins. It would be funny if I had this case and I opened it up and had like a thing of Twinkies. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I got y'all. I got y'all. What's up, KP? What's up, uh, KPG? Uh oh. Look what Keith's got. I don't know got. what that is, don't y'all. Let me see. Wait a second. Yeah. Put, 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 potato, potato cam is what, is what um, Celine calls that. Potato hey, vision. Hey, Smokey, I know you're listening to me, boy. Get your butt back in here. Smokey's working out, man. He can't. Smokey, Smokey. left a long time ago. Ooh, well, I wanted to come back in there. Let's... Yeah, we can't get what we always want there, but He's at work hey, now. Hey, Sam Bell, I got a question. Yeah. Is it true that you were taking tight and Ernest's wife? Oh, good God. That's right, Crimson. Little no, Debbie's. Man. Yes or no? He said Dude, no. I don't forget about that. I'm just asking what's the truth. So yes, no question. Dude, I, I got, I'm not asking you to fight begin. <laughs> Sorry, Chess. Ding oh, ding ding. Kind of... No, you're good, man. Just don't drop no uh racial slurs or anything like that. You can do whatever yes, you want. Okay? That means you too, Slam. Don't you be calling nobody an asshole, you jerk. The Alabama fans in the I didn't like call that. I know I mess with you, Sam. I do it because I love you, buddy. You know that. The Alabama fans in the comment section, they don't want Arch. They think he's overrated. I don't want him either. I think he's overrated, too. I, I'm cool with Gunnar Stockton, man. I'm, I don't know the reason why he's overrated. You said, he has a man as his last name. I mean, and Chess, you said that you really hope that he goes to Texas. I mean, it's like if he goes to Bama, fine, he goes to Bama. You know, Bama gets their players, so I don't see it as that big of a deal. If he goes to Bama, then he won't see the field till Mac Jones, not Mac Jones, uh, Bryce, Tate, Young. Bryce Young, Bryce Young, not Ty like Simpson. Simpson is gonna until he leaves. So Ty Simpson is a five-star quarterback coming in. I don't know, man. Bama don't I just. I, I don't. Uh, one of these days, people are gonna be talking about Georgia instead of Bama. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, yeah, when Saban retires, it's when, it's Georgia's conference. When Saban retires, we're not gonna be hearing about Bama. You know, Saban Saban, retires Saban coaches for like a five, six, I've done said this five million times, and I tell you right now, Nick Saban will be on the sidelines with an oxygen tank. He'll die as the head coach of of freaking Alabama. I don't mean that in a mean way. He just seems like a guy that's not going to leave until he physically can't do it anymore. Until he either. Crimson Brave says it'll be Bryce Young, Milro, then Simpson. Okay, what would you say, Keith? I said it. It's going to be one of those things. Either death or dementia takes him. Not being the mean. I don't mean. I don't. Yeah, no, no. I, I no. I, I I'm not being mean either. I'm just being realistic. It doesn't seem like he's got any. Um. Doesn't seem like he's got any intention of stopping. You know. Before uh, those events happen, Bama wants to restore order in 2022. I'm picking Bama to win the Natty this year. I, I am. I, yeah. I, I think I think Bama will win the Natty. No, I. I oh, we got I, another I Bama, Bama fan. Too. We got I think another it's Bama to pick fan. Anyone for the Natty? But are we? Is it just? Is it just going to be Bama fans in the chat right now? Well, I'll drop we got the link. Ballard, too. Crimson Brave, Crimson 1077. Anybody, Hoss, man, I don't care. KPG. Hoss, who? KPG, who are you a fan of in college? I have no idea. I think he's spent at Texas. Longhorns, baby. Oh, Texas? Okay. Yeah, Texas. Oh. Yeah, Texas. All right. Oh. Hey, hey, KPG. Um, yeah. 
So I'm I actually met a Texas defensive line starter um oh, yeah. at a family reunion no less. Um some of my family um they were friends with a um guy's name who was Chisholm and and um he played defensive line for Texas. Dude was six foot five, two hundred and eighty pounds, two hundred like eighty eight pounds. Guy was a brick house. I I I would I would not want to run into him in any kind of dark place whatsoever, and I mean he he he's he scared he I'm like I'm a big guy but I wouldn't be able to take him. Yeah, I think that's one of our biggest aspects in recruiting. Like we can always recruit up front, whether it's D line or O line. Other positions, quarterback. Our last great quarterback was Ellinger. Before Ellinger was McCoy. Before McCoy, it was Young. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I say that's that's our three positions that we all recruit. That takes the recruits the best at quarterback, O line, and D line. Um, we, we should we should get some Alabama fans in here because KPG, if I'm not mistaken, y'all's first game of the season is against Alabama. Yeah. Not yep. first game. I'm, I'm not second. reading. No, actually, no. I, think I'm, it's their I got a feeling we're going to get blown out because our second team... game, second game, yeah, second, second game, game. second game. Because but y'all play I, Alabama I this season. Get blow out. For real. Ballard says he can't come on right now. I'm guessing he has work. Yeah, Ballard. Uh, charming them ladies. He's a ladies man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Maybe He's Crimson good. Brave can come oh, on. Here, here we go. Here we go. Argument time, baby. Oh, wait. Hey. wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get Webster in. Come on, man. All right. Hey, Jeff. Oh, how you up, doing? Jeff? I'm not here to argue. Right. I'm smashing Are you not? <laughs> Are you not here to argue? <laughs> no. I'm here to remind you of a couple of things. Oh, here we go. All right. What is it? <laughs> Nine title. Ten? No. 11 title, 12 title, 13 and 14 changed the offense, 15 title, 16 robbed of the title, 17 title, 18 no, 19 no, 20 title, 21. Here's what happens, kids. About every other year, Bama doesn't win the title for one, maybe two years in a row. Then you know what happens? The next group of studs come in and say, Enough of this shit. We want one of those trophies in the trophy case with our class on it. And they win it again. So if I was the United States of America college football right now and I was not living in Tuscaloosa, I'd be damn worried. Hey, Jeff, come in with a statement. Here's, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing to think about. Since 2007, when Nick Saban arrived in Tuscaloosa, once, one time, has somebody won the national championship who did not, at some point during the season, beat Alabama? He's right. Everybody got quiet. Jeff comes in here and demands respect. Hey, hey, yeah. Jeff. No, no, no. You see. J Dub, now I, now in my video that I made about Nick Saban crying, I did give y'all some leeway because J Dub, I know you, Halls, pretty much everybody on in the YouTube community that is an Alabama fan gave their respects and graciously held the L. I know y'all, I know y'all didn't want to, and I know that I wouldn't have wanted to either, but you did. But you got your coach. Nick Saban over here trying to refund that L and trying to cash in on here's the difference. I understand that your 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 IQ is is a challenging thing for you to deal with here. That you can't obviously hear the English language and understand it when it's clearly spoken to you. Nick Saban, who is obviously beyond your comprehension was not making excuses. Sounded Nick Saban, like excuses. Nick Saban was daring his team to step up. 
he wasn't taking anything back. He, he explicitly said he wasn't taking anything away from Georgia. He explicitly made that statement. What he said was, we had players who did not take advantage of their opportunities in practice time to improve themselves. They did not take advantage of the opportunity in game time to show that they could get the job done. He more or less is daring his own receivers to transfer. He's daring them. He's saying, if you can't put the work in and you can't get it done here, if you're not the kind of mental toughness it takes to play for Alabama, then I don't want you. He's he threw down the gauntlet to his own team. He was not making excuses. And only a blind Georgia fan hears that as Nick Saban making an excuse. The whole damn rest of the country commenting and all the national commentators, everybody that's commented on that statement about Saban said just exactly what I just said, that he was throwing the gauntlet down at his team, not making crybaby excuses, which is what Georgia fans want to hear. No, I don't want to hear you, excuses. You, I don't want to hear excuses. I didn't want to hear excuses. And he didn't but give you excuses. Yeah, he, he did. Didn't he was over excuses. there. He was over there, J Dub, saying how how um they would have won had not um, Mechie and J Mo, Jamison Williams, not a, if they weren't injured, then they would have they would have won. Yeah, he, he was making that. he was yeah. making excuses. Those are yeah, excuses. Do you have any J-Dub. doubt? After Jamison Williams and John Mechie prison raped, prison raped your asses in Atlanta. <laughs> if both of those guys are on the field for the entire J- game, J Dub, you're and, gonna get and, you're gonna and, get this stream taken down. You can't use and, those words on and YouTube. If both of those guys who destroyed you in Atlanta are on the field for the whole game, and Alabama doesn't have their number one, their number two. And their number three cornerbacks, all three, missed the entire natty. You don't think no, that would have impacted? No, you don't no. think that would have had an impact George, on the Georgia game? Georgia had injured players too. James, yeah. here's, the, here's, the li- here's your James lie, Williams Georgia boy. Did not miss here's the your lie. Here's National your lie, Georgia game. boy. Here, oh, here's, what you, here's what you ignorant Georgia fans need to figure Alabama out. Alabama fans are worse than the You Cowboys were playing fans. with the same players on the field and the Natty that were on the field at the start of the season. They're no longer freshmen if they're still on the field in game 15, game 14. You didn't have – if you're one, two, and three cornerbacks Define and you're one, freshman, and, 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 you're one and two offensive weapons you weren't on the field, because you, you don't think because that would have impacted the game? And you just moved to Michigan or Ames, Iowa, you don't, so you that don't you think, wouldn't get the you don't, attention. You don't, you don't, you don't think – you don't think missing – your top three cornerbacks and your Throw first and corn. second most effective offensive weapons would because have impacted that Georgia. That coming out your mouth right now in the form of shit. That's what it's coming out right <laughs> well, now. You, you listen, listen you, 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 you're so fucking ignorant. You don't, you look out that window behind you. You know what that light is? It's the sun. Okay. You need to be exposed to it a little bit because you clearly can't fucking see you can't see you, the fucking obvious train right in and front of you. You can't speak. You can't speak because you're, you're inbred. And you're, are, you, the first, are you just saying the that, first, yeah. just saying that case? The first the first and second and, and choose them. I'll let you choose. You can you can choose whoever they are. Pick your number one and your number two. <laughs> Not your quarterback. You can't choose Stetson. Right. But choose your number one and number two non-quarterback offensive weapons. Who were they? One's got to be. doesn't matter what position. Just who were they? One of them's got to be Bowers. Okay. All right. Brock Bowers. And then who's your second best? Cook, probably. Okay. I'd say Cook. All right. I want them. I, I, I want. I want. And Cook was your number two, right? You, you chose Bowers before Cook. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I want Cook completely out of the game. He doesn't see a snap. I want Bowers gone three minutes into the second quarter. And I want your number one, your number two, and your number three cornerbacks out. Take them out. Your but number I one, two, and three cornerbacks. Star, they got facing, all these five stars. They got all this talent. Facing, facing, the, the, facing the Heisman Trophy winner. We would still 4,700 yards. 46 touchdown quarterback, and your one, two, and, and three cornerback are gone. 
Brock Bowers gets to play a quarter and three minutes, and James Cooks plays no snaps at all. If you're telling me that that would have no impact on Georgia's ability to perform in Minimum. the game, then you don't know Minimum. what the fuck you're talking about, and you have just fucking Minimum embarrassed impact. yourself. Are, are you, you you're just well, embarrassed we yourself. We still, we still. I'm trying to understand. Are you just are you directing that towards Keith? Just Keith, uh, Jeff? Yeah, I'm saying okay. you, you're telling me you're telling me James Cook plays no snaps, not a single snap. Jermaine Brock we Bowers still had gets Jermaine to play. And Brock Bowers gets to play for 13 minutes for for 18 minutes, and and facing the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback, who's Georgia for 46 was just a better team before, than you, Jay. You're going to take Georgia's you're, you're going to take team. your you're going to take your one, two, and three cornerbacks, and uh, those three kids are not going to play a single snap in the game. Georgia's if you're just telling a me that has Alabama. if you're telling me that has no impact on the game, then you are dumber than you look, and you look pretty dumb. Next man, you up, sound baby. dumb. That was definitely argument there. Next well, man up. Okay, well, they say yeah. next man up. Quit. Georgia had injured players too. We I mean, we had injured players Alabama, way but... before Alabama had injured players. You were playing best, with the same. Our you best were players with the were same already injured. You Darnell, played with all year. Darnell. Darnell injured. Pickens injured. Bowers Pickens played was in the injured natty. towards the end of the game. Bowers was playing injured. He has Pickens, to have surgery Pickens at the end the of the. In the off season, Pickens did play in the Natty, though. Okay, P- Pickens Bowers had a limited was, number of plays. If that Bowers was playing hurt against Alabama, and we still whooped you. Oh, you, you whooped us. <laughs> yeah, we blew yeah. you out. Fifteen <laughs> points is a blowout, Jeff Webster. Yeah. What was uh, what was That's seventeen? Was was seventeen a blowout? Well, I'd rather seventeen have points a blowout. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it is got, a blowout. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got, yep. yeah. got us in the SEC championship yeah. game, and yeah. I'm not saying with, that with, wasn't with, a blowout. But guess what? Met, we with, won the Natty. We won the one that actually matters, Jeff. With met, the with met, SEC met, met, the, the SEC championship means less than a Natty. I will, let, I will trade you an SEC championship game for a Natty any day of the week, Jeff Webster. You just come by, oh, and I, I, will, oh, and I, I will trade too. you. I will. I would too. I'm not denying that. The natty, the natty is the all important. I'm not taking anything away from Georgia's win. I'm not. All I'm saying is, if you're going to sit there and try to actually say that a quarter and a third of, of Bowers, no cook, and one, two, and three cornerbacks are out, and that doesn't dramatically affect Georgia. Then, then you you should just get off YouTube because I mean that's such a fucking ignorant statement. You're automatically assigned to the short bus. Damn, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, listen, listen. I I'm I'm sorry that Alabama can't recruit wide receivers that can replace my star players when they get injured. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you're I, right. I, Let, I let's feel see. bad for you. Let's see. Julio you Jones, when, Amari Cooper. Calvin Ridley, Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith. Ago. He said that I was John still in high Yeah, Alabama don't know anything about recruiting he wide receivers. He said to receivers replace do them, replace the start. He's all a backup Robertson, not starters. You misinterpreted what he said. He said y'all can't recruit. Y'all can't recruit Robertson. And every one of those guys, every one of those guys had to fight their way out of the field. J Dub, get the corn cob out of your ears. What do you think Saban was? You're making my. You just you're going back to making the point Saban was making. Those guys didn't step up. I love this. This got to okay. go down as the greatest. I, I great argument. Well, J Dub, I can I can say that I'm a Georgia fan. I'm not. I'm, sorry I'm not for Nick you. Saban. I'm not Nick Saban, the head coach of a dynasty football program, throwing my players under the bus because I. I couldn't get the job Same done. My X's and O's years. weren't as great as Kirby Smart's that day. You got outplayed. Nick Saban got outplayed. Quit blaming your players. Quit blaming injury. Injuries Every happen. Time Saban You're supposed lose, to be you prepared. In- injuries are a part of the game. Injuries are a part of the game. Yes, they are. So. 
And, and so it's stepping up. And Bama's players, Bama's players didn't step up. Bill O'Brien and Nate and, and, and Nick Saban can't run out onto the field and catch the ball. You're right. You're right. Three times, well, four if you count the if you count the block, which was a great play by the Georgia special teams. Alan Carter. They they moved they moved the ball down into the red zone. They're ready to score touchdowns. If those are touchdowns, if those three drives that end up making it nine to six make it twenty one to six, your January feels a whole lot different, doesn't it? Well. Yeah. But guess what? We don't and live in the happened. land of that's what, what ifs, J Dub. J Dub, we don't land, we do not live in the land of what ifs. We land we live in the land of reality. And the reality is You're Georgia like, whooped oh you. Oh my God. <laughs> we whooped you. We spanked you. We, we can oh my up. God. You're, oh. you're gonna <laughs> tell an Alabama fan that we live in the land of what ifs. I yeah, said we don't what if we don't what if it's the oh, corn about your ears. Like, yeah, you live in a random well, <laughs> you give credit to George's defense for stepping up because they made some great yeah. plays in the red zone. They did. They did. Hey, Battle got... players, there were there were there were four dropped passes in that game. They were not defended. They were not pass defense. They were not go look up the stats. They didn't go down as a PD in the Georgia defense stats. There were four dropped passes that hit Bama receivers' hands inside the Georgia 15-yard line in that game. They were now that is completely that is completely on that is completely on those Bama receivers who absolutely choked when they should have stood up when they should have rose to the occasion. Look, it would have happened. It would have happened to Jamison Williams and John Mitchell too. Look, I gotta give credit to Bama. They played. They played well, especially without Will, Mechie and Will and Jameson Williams. So, who's playing now? Gotta give them their credit. It's one of these <laughs> things where it's like give give credit to Bama, but give more credit to Georgia because. No, but I know the Bama fans are giving credit to Georgia. Yeah, I I know they are, but you know when. When Saban comes talking about excuses and everything, and you want to make excuses for your team, just don't make the injury excuse because George had been injured all season long. Bama Facts. bankers, he didn't Bama make bankers, an injury excuse. Yeah, injury excuse. Bama banker says sub Ballard in for J Dub, and then it would be a fair fight. Mm. That's one thing that's true. George has been He's having calling you weak, son. I'm a Texas fan, so George's the only thing weak is season. about Bama Banker's comments. They're the same comment over and over again. Say something original. The one thing I will say is that Georgia has had injuries all season. That's that's facts, right? There. <laughs> you know who else has? You know who else has? New Mexico State, Colgate, Furman, Pepperdine, Washington. Everybody yeah. has injuries. Yeah, they're a part of the game, so. Everyone has injuries. And what happens that. is when you're when it's your turn to play, you've got to step onto the field and rise up. And at Alabama, you're definitely expected to step onto the field and rise up. That's the tradition. They've got the trophies to prove it. But this year, they didn't do it. And Saban is challenging his team. He's thrown down the gauntlet for this upcoming season. I guarantee you the message this upcoming season will be rise up. Oh, yeah. Take there's, it, there's nothing take wrong it, with that. Take advantage of the opportunities in front of you because last year's team had no business being in the natty. This should have been a rebuilding team. Other teams should have been able to take Alabama out before they got there, and they didn't. And if Alabama could backdoor its way and use its talent to get to the get to the natty, they should have won it. That's what he's sore about. He's sore about the fact that he knows this wasn't his best team, and he got there anyway. And then they didn't rise up. They un alabamaed themselves in an Alabama position. That's what's irritating to the Bama fans. Not that we lost to Georgia. The 2016 Natty hurts way worse than this. Way worse. Yeah, because you guys were not expected to win this Natty. You weren't oh. even expected to make it this far. I mean, Georgia's had their, their once in 40 years miracle season. 
once every 40 years, 1942, 1980, 2021, once every 40 years, Georgia has a miracle season, and they had it when Alabama was just a little bit off, which was the perfect time to have it. Well, Bama's not going to be a little bit off next year, and it's time for you. You're going to experience an adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, order. What, what, what order, adjustment are you going to make order, against Texas A&M when they beat you again? Order uh, will be restored. Jimbo's about to beat y'all again for the second season in a row. How are you going to make that adjustment, J-Dub? Yeah, you, like the last time he beat us when he came to BDS, right? And he got blown off the field by 28. Huh. Yeah, true. Yeah, well. Well, this time, Georgia you know, will be back. Jay here, here's he's got here's eight little, stars. You like, eight. you like to chew, here, you, you like to put things in your mouth and chew on them, Shelly. Here's something to think about. <laughs> Seven of eight over Georgia. Eight straight over Florida. Fifteen straight over Tennessee. Eleven of twelve over LSU, including five straight and two shutouts in Bryant Denny West that they call Death Valley. Eight. SEC championships in the last 14 years. Six national championships. And it's all about to come crumbling okay. down once Nick Saban gets the And you get one along the way. All you okay, I can live with that. Alabama I can live with fans that. I can live with that. Should I can just live go back to the trailer park and start <laughs> Start doing to their cousin what they do every single time I can Alabama live with that. loses. There you go. Oh, here we go. Here's the old. Here, here the old. Here, Will, what we tell? What I? What have I told you? Well, here comes the old suck my dick argument. When I ain't got nothing to say, it goes comes back to <laughs> suck my dick. Fuck your cousin. <laughs> hey, J Dub. Look, Jeff. Look, Jeff. I, look, I'm ready. Look, there, I'm ready. There's, there's num there's numbers and facts you can't deal with. And what you say is you bow to the king and you get out of the room before the king decides to take your head off. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I'm ready for you guys to come out strong next season, Jeff. I'm ready for it. And there's and I'll be and I, I'm gonna tell you what, you're gonna hear all summer from me. Here's what you're gonna hear all summer from me. There ain't no guarantee. Anything could happen. Bryce Young could trip over the fucking sidewalk on the quad and break his kneecap and ruin the whole season. Anything could happen at any time. Anybody can rise up on any given Saturday and knock you off. It, it can happen. You can. Nobody expected Georgia to lose to South Carolina a couple of years ago. Nobody expected Bama to lose to Ole Miss a couple of years ago. These things happen. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, we're on our way to the natty. All I'm telling you is, like it was for Georgia this past year, this is the year and where the door is open. Now, you got to step through the door. Georgia stepped through the door. All credit to them. That's what I'm going to say. But anybody that tells you, well, we're, we're absolutely winning it. Yeah, yeah, you're full of it. There's too much that has to happen. Oh, yeah. You, you can't make a 100% natty prediction preseason. No, no one can you you can't. You can't. You can't even predict the. You can't even predict the uh, conference title. Which yeah, is what I, mean, I there's, there's, I two, there's, there's way too many variables. You could have somebody get sick. You could have somebody's grandma dies the day before a big game, and they decide to go to the funeral. I mean, you could have anything happen. Quit making excuses. That's all I have to say. I'll oh, talk to y'all later. Yeah. What the hell? Well, that was interesting. Well, that was just interesting, Jeff. Uh, well, that, Jeff. What, what you just saw there, what you just witnessed, ladies and gentlemen who are in the stream and who are in the comment room, is you just witnessed Anakin Skywalker, disguised as J-Dub, go through the Tuscan Raider camp and kill everybody. They're all dead. Every one of them is dead. Hundreds dead. You just witnessed an absolute slaughter. Damn. Oh, wow. Chill next to <laughs> that was, that was And I'd like to think, I would like to take this opportunity to thank TikTok Chess Hall for allowing me to, to for hosting this opportunity for me to absolutely humiliate the unworthy. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't humiliate one of us, would you? 
or you guys wouldn't be making the same ridiculous ridiculous arguments. True. Oh yeah, I think I think we're all logical. And yeah, I don't think was... I don't think I don't think I'd be saying some stupid crap. Now, You're not going to hear me ever make an excuse for Alabama losing that natty, except for the excuse that Bama's players didn't step up against a great defense. As great as Georgia's defense was, Bama players still had a chance to win the game, and they absolutely failed. They choked in the big moment. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you you got to save those mistakes. And Georgia, and Georgia, given the chance to do so, cashed it in. It's like how Tom Brady cashed in all his chances. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly, exactly. Look at all the times that Brady. Uh, Mr. Goat, Brady, got his ass saved by Steven Gonkowski or Adam Vinatieri. His place kicker saved his ass. Or the New England defense saved his ass. Or the other team made a ridiculous, stupid offensive call, and Brady wasn't even on the field, and it saved his ass. The, 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 the thing is, is when you have the chance, are you going to cash it in? And Georgia gets credit for they had an opportunity, and they cashed it in. Yes, we did. Yeah, and Alabama cashes it in all the time too. Well, you right. sometimes. That's why. That's why I'm mad. Exactly, Will. That's why the Bama fans are mad because we're used to being the guys who cash in their chips, and instead we had it done to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those those mistakes you say for uh, FCS. Yeah, no, no, I don't know. I don't know of any serious Alabama fan who's mad that it was Georgia we lost to. Every Bama fan I've ever talked to that knows what the hell they're talking about says, thank God it was Georgia. Because if we had lost to anybody else, we would have lost to an inferior team. Georgia was the only team that was on Bama's par or better than Bama last year. So they got us. Okay, that happens. Sometimes the other guy gets you. Had we lost to like Cincinnati, that would have been losing to an inferior team. You were you know? off the so, 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 there's no, so there's no embarrassment there. No, nobody, nobody in Alabama is embarrassed that we lost to Georgia. Georgia was the deserving national champions. I, mean, I don't know how many thousand times do you got to say it? Oh, don't, wait, don't, don't that? lose, don't lose to a uh, an FCS team like Florida did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine being Florida. Oh God, Georgia I'm, I'm, Southern. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this through, and I'm and Jado. I think you're saying like the 2016 loss to Clemson. That was you're right. saying that was supposed to be Bama's year. It was, basically. yeah. Yeah, that was that's the one that hurts. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Well, damn it, J Dub, 2012 hurt too, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's all good now. 2012 was the best. And the other, the other, the other, the other thing I think that's that is irritating the Bama fan base is this constant reference to third and Ringo. <laughs> well, well to be fair though, you guys you guys did it with you, guys, you guys always you guys reference second and 26 quite a bit too. Okay, but, but it, it, it here here's the here's the big difference, okay? 